If you are looking to improve your DSL skills, you should not skip this video. Hi guys, I am the algorithm and on this channel, the daily algorithm, I share with you daily lead code pure daily problems to help you improve your DSA skills. Today's question is reschedule meetings for maximum free time. The whole event starts at t equals to zero to t equals to event time. And we have n non overlapping meetings where the ith meeting occurs during the time start time i to end time i. We can reschedule at most k meetings by moving their start time while maintaining the same duration to maximize the longest continuous period of free time during the whole event. While rescheduling the meetings, the relative order of all the meetings should stay the same and they should remain non-overlapping. In the first example, we have two meetings, first from 1 to 2 and second from 3 to 5. The value of k is 1 which means that we can only reschedule a single meeting. Now if we move the first meeting either to left or to right, we will have a gap of two time units where we have to attend no meetings. Thus, the output of this example is two. The intuition that comes to my mind after reading this question is that all the K rescheduling that I am doing should contribute to make a single free interval longer. Now, how do we do that? Instead of moving K random meetings, I focus on rescheduling K consecutive meetings. Why? Because that's the only way to completely free up space between the neighboring meetings. If you reschedule random meetings, the remaining meetings in between will split the time and will make the gap smaller. But if you pick k consecutive meetings and shift them either to the start or the end of the event and keep all the other meetings in place, this way we can create a large gap between them. Let's look at the C++ solution. Here I have a variable max free to store in my final answer and while I'm iterating through these meetings, I am adding the duration of that meeting in my window duration. The left pointer is the end of the meeting before my window and is the start of the potential free gap. The right variable is the start of the meeting after my window and is the end of the potential free gap. To calculate the free gap, I am removing my window duration from the size of the window and if my window has more than k meetings, I am removing the first meeting from my window. 